bet you won't do a burnout with that camper hooked up. You know I never leave weak. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. I'm Sam. And I'm Brad. And today we've got another one. Another one. Another tow video with my 21 F-150. The guys over at RAS, Roadmaster Active Suspension, sent us a part a couple of months ago. We've been doing a lot of things to Sam's and we wanted to get it to this point before we actually put that active suspension on and tried it out. I don't think it probably makes any difference. I've looked at it. It doesn't look like it would do anything to me. Sam's had it on his truck for 100 miles now and driven in normal conditions. Now we've got it hooked up to his camper. This is a follow-up video from where we showed you how to hook a camper up and kind of what the max tow package on the 21 does. I'm out here to disprove these things today. I'm here just to tell you my experience with them, what I think about them, how they actually make my trailer tow, how they drive around town when you're not hooked up to a trailer, does it, you know, does it affect anything there? So I'm going to give you my honest opinion on how these work and if they're going to be a good product for someone to use to beef up that towing, um, not capacity guys, not capacity, but beef up your towing ability, more stable. Uh, safer ride and uh, less sag. I'm here to call bull crap on everything and I'm gonna ask hard questions and see if he can actually walk through this and make it make sense for you to spend four to five hundred bucks on your vehicle or on your truck to put these on. These will go on anything, not just Fords. They've got a fitment for almost every vehicle out there. Vans, yep. cargo vans. Um, Yep. You know, you can put these on a lot of things. Uh, of course, there'll be a link to their website down below. We're not trying to tell you to go buy these with this review. We're going to give you a 110% honest review. I'm going to ask the real hard questions to make sure that these things actually make a big difference and that they're worth your money. If they work great, if they work great, we've already got a promo code from RAS, from Roadmaster Active Suspension, and we've got a free set that they sent extra that we can give away. If these work and if that's our verdict, we're gonna tell you what you can comment down below to enter to win a free set of RAS Roadmaster Active Suspension. So make sure you watch the whole video. We'll see if these are what they're hyped up to be. So this video isn't gonna be at all encompassing how to tow your truck, how to hook it up uh, or any of that kind of thing. I'm gonna go over quickly what is on my truck so you kind of know my suspension setup. The only thing that's changed from the last video is we now have the Roadmaster active suspension installed. And I can already tell you when I hooked up, I didn't squat near as much. Uh, I think I got like an inch and a half tops. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what I've got here. I've also got a weight distribution hitch by Easy Lift, sway control bar. And uh, take a close look here, Brad. No, my chains are not crossed. And uh, for the guys that want to come in, I should have them crossed. There's a single attachment point right here. If I just crossed them, it would just cross right here. So there's no crossing of these chains. You um, got a lot of crap over that last video. I did, man. I had like 10 or 15 people say, oh my goodness, he didn't cross the chains. Like guys, I can't cross my chains. That's the same spot. I mean, it's, it's, they don't cross. The point is, is everybody's setup is a little bit different. Stop giving me crap for not crossing my chains. So my 21 F-150 has the max tow package on it. So I'm gonna have a heavier duty axle um, in the back. It's a 975 rear end basically, and it's supposed to be a little bit stronger. Um, I also do have an extra leaf spring than most of you guys who don't have the max tow package. Um, I've also got Falcon suspension. It's their sport tow haul suspension on here. So I can crank these up and we're gonna do that here in just a second to where it is in the towing position. What that's gonna do is increase the stiffness of the shock and make it have more rebound. So when you hit bumps and everything, it's gonna hold it, uh, uh, keep it from porpoising and that sort of thing. So we've already showed that these shocks do help. Now we're gonna take this Roadmaster active suspension, add that to the mix, and we're gonna see how much more that helps. Now I can already- Or if it helps, Sam, because we don't know that it helps. Well, I can tell you that driving this truck around town, for about a hundred miles since I've had them put on. Um, I couldn't tell a difference. No difference whatsoever. Um, every, there's, you know, the, the ride wasn't any stiffer or anything. Now, when I did put my foot on my uh, tailgate, I could tell that it was a little bit stiffer back there. It doesn't sag. And so when I hooked up the trailer, I didn't get as much uh, 
sag in the back as I normally do. Brad, show them some footage of the trailer going down the road in the last video. So the footage you're seeing here is the same camper, same setup, uh, without the Roadmaster active suspension. And you can see that it's fairly level. In the video we shoot today, I expect it's gonna be a little bit more level and we're gonna have even less porpoising than we did before. I wanna see under hard braking if this can stop some of that axle wrap because I did notice I still had that problem. Uh, when you get on the brakes a little bit hard with this thing, it wants to wrap that axle. And so you get a little wheel hop when you're coming up to the red light and everything. And I wanna see how this addresses that situation as well. So I wanna see these things actually work. I wanna see this Roadmaster active suspension spring move while we're going over some bumps. So we're not gonna show you a split screen and show it all, you know, the whole time going down the road, but we do have some GoPro set up in super slow-mo, uh, two different angles. So we'll be able to see what these things actually look like and how they actually perform while we're under load. That's as scientific as we're gonna get. Most of this video is gonna be about Sam telling us how these things feel because he takes his camper up to the mountains about every other weekend and he has done about 20 trips so far. Today, we'll get a good comparison for what these things actually feel like. So cameras, we've got one right here on the frame and it actually looks back at the Roadmaster Active Suspension and it looks right over the top of the leaf spring. And then I've also attached one here on the side of the truck and we're gonna look dead on to the spring. We won't get to see the whole active suspension, but we'll get to see that spring contract um, as we go down the road and you'll be able to see it in comparison to the leaf spring as well. The, tr the camera's mounted on the truck, so you're gonna see where the truck's bouncing different from the spring. So it's gonna be a pretty good comparison. I don't know what you'll actually learn from it, but you'll get to see what this actually does. I wanna see if these things can actually stop some of the squat when he camps because I think his Falcons are awesome and I've, I'm a big believer in what they're doing. I wanna see if this RAS stuff actually works. I gotta say, just from looking at that tire and this tire, it looks pretty doggone level. So right away, I can tell you with the camper hooked up to the truck and everything, the squat initially from loading the trailer on the tongue is quite a bit less. I would say squatted about half of what it was squatting. So um, I, I'm not pushing those front tires up in the air. I should have a better control of the vehicle because I'm gonna have more weight on the front of the tire or the front end. Um, it's gonna allow me to steer better and everything and this thing's just gonna ride so much more level and that's what you want when you're uh, hooked up to a trailer. So let's go see how it actually drives down the road now. I'm getting in the world's fastest chase car. This is my favorite car in the world, guys. This is our Shelby GT500, it's a 2020. We call it Godzilla here on the channel. It's got a custom uh, Avery Fresh Spring Satin Finish Wrap. If you wanna see that video, we'll put it in the description. Um, we also have a GT350 that's wrapped and it's King Kong. Um, totally different theme on that one, so you can check that out. Hey guys, if you clicked on this video, you're obviously a car or truck guy. We're both. Uh, we do a lot of different things with Mustangs, with uh, obviously our Ford trucks. I've got the supercharged F-150. You might have seen in the background of uh, some shots up at Sam's house. We've also got new Broncos coming, and we've got the old 96 Bronco. Do us a favor, and do yourself a favor. Go ahead and hit subscribe on this, and YouTube will show you our content more often when you open up the app. It really helps us grow and it helps us continue to keep getting stuff sent to us like RAS reached out to us because our subscriber number is growing. So help us become a bigger channel. If these things are what they're cracked up to be, and I gotta be honest, after watching them go down the road and following Sam a little bit, they're looking pretty solid. I mean, I'm not seeing hardly any bounce. I don't know what it rides like inside, but they look pretty solid. I'm gonna be in the truck with him here in a few minutes and kind of get his feedback up close and personal. Uh, but go ahead and hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and if we decide these are awesome and we do this contest to be able to give a pair away, you're going to comment down below and we'll tell you what that is here in just a minute. So I went ahead and jumped in with Sam and I'm going to ask him some questions based off what I saw from filming outside of the vehicle. Um, we came around one of the biggest curves on Interstate 40, right at the junction of 4075. Mm -hmm. Outside of Missionary Ridge and Chattanooga, it's probably the worst curve in East Tennessee on the interstate. I saw the vehicle set tight and almost no roll. It just looked solid and planted as we come around through there. Yeah. I was having a trouble with my Mustang holding the camera straight. It wanted to bounce up and down. What did you feel in here? 
it was very stable um, way more stable than before um, the body roll that this helps you with is it's pretty amazing I, I will say that's one of the biggest things I've noticed is with the body roll um, you know we already had the Falcon shocks on here and that was a step up but this thing really locked that down to where you don't have a lot of uh, back and forth coming around curves and everything and not only just high speed curves um, when you're driving I also noticed it um, pulling out from a like a red light or whatever making a sharp turn in this thing normally you kind of feel like this thing's going to tilt you over and, and it's going to pull you over or something if you get to going too fast but um, I did notice pulling out from a red light it felt really stable and solid so more planted I would say body roll is one big thing that these help with for sure it just seemed like the front and the rear was extremely level your front wasn't tipping up and your back sagging and it wasn't bad doing that with the Falcons but this seems like just from just the eyeball test right. it looks like it's more level so yeah the Falcon shocks are gonna help you with stability while you're going down the road and bumps and that sort of thing but they're not that much stiffer than the factory shocks to keep you from having quite a bit of sag you know you're you're just not going to get that from a set of shocks yep. um, and with the uh, Roadmaster active suspension it really helped that ride height stay up and more level than before um, so so I've been a naysayer because I thought 500 bucks it can't do that much you know Sam's got how much of the Falcon so shocks we just took that we curve just took pretty a, good. <laughs> I didn't feel like it yeah. was pushing me we just took a curve getting on the interstate and hit a bunch of whoopty bumps and it's picking right up and going straight up the ramp and this is one of these old uh, concrete concrete bumpy, bumpy you know we're it's right by a truck stop so a bunch of trucks have already whoopled the the if that's a word whoopled <laughs> they've already whoopled the pavement right there let's talk about the elephant in the room your falcon shocks were how much i had like uh 1600 bucks or something and uh you, you get know, a level you the install but you get a level out of that uh, but you can go get a level for 200 bucks okay so if you wanted to be more budget minded yes the falcon shocks have helped and i do love them um they are expensive and they're, they're pretty pricey guys but you know they're a good quality very nice shock they do more than just level the truck they also help with towing but they are pricey so if you were trying to be more budget minded and you wanted to go out and get a you know hundred dollar puck leveling system and get a hundred bucks to put them on somewhere and then add these roadmaster active suspension pieces in the back you're gonna have a pretty dang good tow rig too because I can tell that my stability uh, cornering and the ride height has been vastly improved one thing that uh, the um, Falcon shocks weren't able to help with was axle wrap and so when you're yeah. taking off with a big load like this or you're trying to stop you know say you're coming up to a red light and some jack wagon jumps right in front of you and starts slowing down way faster than you can i mean you're supposed to be safe when you're towing i get that guys but it's going to happen somebody's going to bow up and stop in front of you when that happens before i would get that axle wrap and then sometimes it, the trailer starts pushing you a little bit when you're trying to stop and you get yeah. that little skid skid there at the end and uh, your braking's not working as good as it should um, I actually come to a good stop pretty hard trying to test these out there's none of that so this is really helping with that axle wrap and keeping the leaf springs in the shape that they're supposed to be when you're coming to a stop so Sam's gonna show us a hard stop and we're gonna see how that axle handles it no wrap that was smooth well i watched a lot of different um roadmaster active suspension videos before we made this one just to kind of see what other folks that have been sent this product were doing and it seemed like everybody was glowing on it and just making it out to be the the cure-all <sighs> kind of well, feels pretty doggone I mean, it feels good pretty good i mean i will say when you're not hooked up to a trailer and you've just got these on I thought I was gonna get in and it was gonna be stiff and I was gonna notice right away that I bound up my suspension in the back or something and I gotta be honest I really couldn't tell 
Um, you know, day to day driving, you're going to be fine. Um, did it? So you're saying day to day, the only thing it did was it stopped some body roll. Yeah, I mean, it, they it, didn't it, give it, you a hard it, ride. It didn't give me a rough ride or any stiffer of a ride or anything. Um, you know, for the last hundred miles or whatever, I've been driving them without a trailer hooked up. Really couldn't tell. Um, you know, with the Falcon shocks, the ride is already a little bit stiffer than factory, so I'm used to that. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't tell that it was any more stiff than uh, just the Falcon shocks. But um, here towing, I really can tell that it's it's helping with the weight of the trailer and keeping everything more steady and balanced uh, for sure. And um, yeah. a lot more, you can just tow with more confidence. I can feel it. I mean, when we just from making that last video and making this video, this thing feels very and i thought that was good this feels extremely planted so i'm pretty yeah i'm i'm kind of becoming a believer there's all kinds of little things you can buy for five six seven hundred bucks to try to help you tow a lot of them are gimmicks um sam was trying to find a permanent solution to be able to bolt on and leave on you used to put sumo springs yeah. off and on because they sucked when you weren't dry when you weren't towing. yeah i tried sumo springs which that's going to be pretty much the same thing as your timbrans um, what that is, is it's kind of like a, uh, I want to call it a poor man's airbag or something like that. Um, you know, you can pick them up for about two or 300 bucks. You know, some of those are a little cheaper, but when you put them on, it takes the place of your bump stop. And, um, you really can tell that that stiffens up your ride. I mean, it, if you don't, uh, if you install those and you don't have it actually touching at all times, as soon as you hit a little bump, it actually bangs like you because it, 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 if you leave yep. a little gap, it felt terrible. So I wanted to, to um, only use them when I was towing. I couldn't drive with them normally. So I would have to, every time I go camping, climb up under there and bolt those in and then take them out when I got home and everything because I just couldn't stand to ride with them. So the ride uh, was bad for normal driving, yeah, but with so, this, you get the benefits towing. I can see that but you don't have a bad ride when you're not towing. Exactly. You just have less body. And I was worried that we would put these on and it was going to ride about like having the sumo springs on and I, you know, that was going to be the deal breaker, but I was highly surprised that's not the case with these. So. I wanted to hate these and I wanted it to be another gimmicky product because we get hit all the time with stuff. This is a legit American based company that, you know, they're solid. So when I got this email, I was very intrigued. I wanted to think this was just a gimmicky product and that it didn't really do that much. I think they probably have done enough to change my mind. You're going to find out our verdict in just a second. All right, Sam. What's your verdict? I can't lie, I was impressed. Uh, all the things we've talked about, stability, uh, less squat, um, just feels better driving down the road with the camper hooked up and there was really no trade-off. In the meantime, on, when you're daily driving your vehicle, it yep. doesn't bounce you around and beat you up. So uh, I gotta give it a double thumbs up. And I was the most negative and didn't think this was gonna be worth the money. It's worth the money. So here's what we're gonna do. Promo code is in the description down below. So if you wanna win a free set, and these are gonna fit a 2009 through a 2020-21 F-150 4x4, and you can confirm they fit a 21. They fit a 21 with the max tow package with that extra leaf, so there's no problems there either. So um, you're gonna just make sure you got a 4x4. Four four. Yep. So you're going to comment RAS, capital RAS, that's Roadmaster Active Suspension RAS. You comment that down below in one week from when this video is published, we're going to pick a winner at random from those people that comment RAS below. And then our expense, we're going to ship these out to you and somebody's going to win them. They're worth the money now that, I mean, we've put them to the test. We've put some miles on them. He's going to have them. We'll do a follow up later. But I, I can say very confidently that this is a good product to buy and it actually works and it does what it says, if not more. Yep. More boxes. <laughs> so we'll box this up, send it out to the winner. 
Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and check out my build playlist. There's towing um, videos for this truck. There's Every mod build videos. Done. So anything, what he's paid, you want, everything. anything you want to know about this truck, check out the build playlist. We'll put that and the other tow video right here in the end card right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.